Hey guys, what's up? John's here, and I'm back to do another video. And today I'm going to show you how you can rebuild your PS4 database. Now this tutorial is pretty simple, and um, you just have to follow a few very easy steps. Now before we start the tutorial, I just want to show you that you won't lose any data. If you look, if you go into my capture gallery, you can see that I have around 12.9 gigabytes in Battlefield Hardline and 10.5 in Call of Duty Black Ops 3. So. You have to start the tutorial. The first thing you have to do is very simple. You have to turn off your PS4. So all you have to do is hold on your PlayStation button, choose power options, and then turn off the PS4. Once you do, you wait for the PS4 to turn off. Now, when the PlayStation is off, you have to press on the power button and hold until you hear two beeps. The first one, when you turn on your PS4, keep on holding, and then you will hear another beep. And when you hear it, you can remove your finger from your playstation and then if you go to your screen it's gonna ask you to connect your controller so you connect it using the dual using the usb cable like i'm doing right here so plug in your ps4 cable plug it to your controller and once you do hit the playstation button and then it's gonna give you a menu what you have, what we want to do is to basically rebuild our database so we select rebuild database and then we press ok usually it doesn't take a few hours it takes a few minutes and then uh, i'm gonna wait you're gonna just see your screen turn on and turn off you're just gonna leave your ps4 do the work and at the time right now it's actually rebuilding the database and uh, all you have to do right here is just wait and then you will get a loading bar that says rebuilding database so you're gonna wait for that bar to finish and um, basically I thought it's gonna take a few minutes when you're done the PS4 will automatically restart so right here you don't do anything you wait for the PS4 to restart and then when it restarts you can continue using it as normal and uh, yeah that was it for the tutorial now let's go to the settings again to the system storage management as, as you can see i didn't lose any data so if you enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to do a like and subscribe and see you next time peace